ancient travellers left behind their golden travel accounts in the form of travelogues for the future generations to read, learn and delight. We bring those to you in our audio series, Travelogues in Time. Today we have for you the fourth part of the travel accounts of Nicola Manushi, the Venetian traveller from Italy. The script is by Professor Pius Malekandathil and presented by Abhay Rajdat. In the last three parts, we had dwelt upon the arrival of Manushi to India, his book, The History of Mughals, his association with Dara Shikhoi, information about Mughal politics and succession war, his relation with Aurangzeb, Manushi turning into a physician, military adventures of Raja Jai Singh and the description of South India, ecclesiastical conflicts and cultural conflicts between European clergy and Indian Christians, the conflict between Portuguese and the Mughals and the Maratha rulers. Over to Abhay Rajdat for the fourth part. In Volume 3, Manuchi refers to the manners customs, cultural practices and forms of governments among the Hindus. Elephant hunt in the hinterland of Cochin, activities of Robert de Nobili in Madurai and John de Brito in Tanjavur, features of diverse Hindu temples, customs and habits of Goa, detailed description of the cities of Goa and Mailapur, list of kings of Bijapur and Golconda, character of slaves, colourful stories of adventurism by individuals, both men and women, then in circulation in the various bazaars of India, healing traditions followed by the Europeans and the natives, the cultural practices and way of life among Luso Indians in Portuguese enclaves of Goa, Basin, Mailapur, activities of the French in Pondicherry, the mercantile endeavours of the Danes in Tranquibar and the English in Kudalore and Madras, piracy troubles at Surat, ships of pilgrimage moving from Surat to Mecca, changing nature of Maratha warfare, details of recurring Maratha attacks in the south, developments among St. Thomas Christians of Kerala, stories in circulation about the place and temples of Ujjain, Jagadnath, Tirupati, dreadful stories about the Inquisition of Goa, etc. When Daud Khan, the deputy governor of the Mughals, attacked Madras in 1702, the English governor Pitt sent Manuchi and Abrahman as ambassadors to communicate with Nawab. In 1703, Manuchi visited the house of Daud Khan in Kadapa, which is located about 137 miles north of Madras. This gave Manuchi opportunity to collect various pieces of information about the land and people lying between Madras and Kadapa, which he included in his third volume. You have just heard the fourth part of the travel accounts of Nicola Manuchi, the Venetian traveller from Italy. Travelogues in time. Travelogues 